Saints were looking to go into positive territory this season after a massive victory over the Suns. They faced the winless Bulldogs at Etihad. History railing against the Dogs, losing their last six and ten of their last 13 against St Kilda. And it was Nick Revolt immediately making an impression. There he is. He came and he almost conquered. Polo might help out. New coach Brendan McCartney had spent the summer trying to teach old dogs new tricks. Liam Jones losing his man early. Bombs at line, beautiful kick, great transfer of play. Coast to coast goal coming up. Jones from 20, directly in front, puts it through. Bulldogs on the board. Great play by the Western Bulldogs. The Saints would immediately hit back through McAvoy to restore a nine-point lead before their big name stood up. And he works it out to Del Santo. Standing start. Got the angles right. And the Saints get some reward for that one. First Del Santo. And then it was the skipper's turn. And look at that kick from Nick Revo. That will warm plenty of St Kilda hearts. The Saints leading by 21 points at quarter time. But what followed was a 10-minute second quarter stalemate until Kaczynski broke the deadlock. Put the free kick out, an advantage play paid at the end. St Kilda in control, but unable to make the dogs pay. Kaczynski would come off second best in this clash with Roughhead before Reece Stanley stood tall. Decides to kick another one, but wouldn't St Kilda love to get it? He'd turn around and announce his arrival as a threat up forward. Wouldn't they get excited if this big, tall, athletic ruckman come forward can do things like that? Nick Rebold would beg his players to lift at half-time, but it was the Bulldogs trailing by 32 points who jumped out of the blocks in the third quarter. Beautifully done by John Syracuse. That's what he's paid to do. They needed that. The Saints, though, would hit straight back. He missed one earlier, but he doesn't miss that. It would mark an avalanche of goals for the Saints. First to Armitage, and then this set up by Lenny Hayes. With a handball, gave it to Easton Wood, watch out. Oh, tackle. Oh, ferocious stuff, Lenny Hayes. And Jack Stevens salutes with a goal. The dogs, mere spectators, as Revolt then brought the house down. Up high, Del Sando, front and square, over to the skipper. Open goal, thank you very much. Saints on fire at Eddie Hatch Stadium. Where's the emergency number when you need it? Stephen Milne delivering a 69-point three-quarter time lead. Kicked two goals to in both games so far this year. And there's one for the night for him. And it caps off a magnificent third quarter again for St Kilda. Milne would kick the first two of the final term as the route continued. He steps around. Kicks goal number three. Hard to believe it could get worse. But Brian Lake would find himself on report for this before the Dogs finally chalked their third goal of the night. Keeps it low and at least keeps it straight. It's a goal. The Saints would clock off towards the end. The, the final scores, Western Bulldogs 5-10-40. Got defeated by St Kilda 15-13-103. Let's go to my votes. I gave three votes to Lenny Hayes, two votes to Sean Dempster, and one vote to Sam Fisher. You've been watching Ash Footy TV. I'll see you next time.